Well, so we found this castle, kind of, and it's here in the map. It's close to a runway and somewhat close... Well, not really close to anything else, but... Uh, it is in a secluded location. Hopefully this castle is enterable, which I think it might be. Because we've seen... At it, it is at least through the roof. Let's hope we can actually get into it. Yes, this is an enterable one. There is some loot down here. Uh, not that much great stuff, but... It is something. So why not get it, I suppose. Uh, okay. I'll get that. Which we might make this our home, I don't know. There's a crowbar here, which I already have. This is a bit dangerous to climb though. Because one could fall, especially if one is clumsy like me. This is a good area to snipe. And we got a roof. It's a macro of mag. I don't have a macro, unfortunately. Uh, what's in here? Yeah, I think we should just make a new one, because this one ain't very good, is it? M9 mag, yes. And there's another M9. In case you want to take it. Yeah. No, I've already got one. This one ain't really secure enough, really, and it ain't really nothing not usable. Nah, it's just a tower. Guess our That's search. What you said it's easy to fall off and break your fucking legs. Yeah, you don't have to fall off from a great height either. Oh, I'm just gonna explore this house, and I think we're gonna keep on our house hunting. <coughs> yeah, I'll meet you at the chopper. I'll deconstruct this car while you're doing that. Okay, I'm just collecting some loot from here, like food and stuff. Because you do eat a lot. Uh, let's check out upstairs. Nothing. Oh, found another backpack here. Compact uh, bag. Steve, you can get it. No, because I got one already. Uh, wait there, then I'll come back and get it because we, we could do all the backpacks we can get for yeah. get all the guns to sell. Because if, if I get this one now and then I'll drop it, it will disappear again and I don't want to risk that. Well, I've just got a fucking wheel. Hey, I was hoping for a jerry can, but oh well. Oh well. We got like five or six wheels yeah. by now. I'll I'll go out. Yeah, I'm coming back. Uh, sh shit, I'm in the road. Well, and it's next to the castle, anyways. Uh, oh, there you are. Whereabouts is he? It's in this house here, and it's upstairs. So if you go to that house upstairs, you'll see it. Can't miss it. Although it shows my character doesn't have a backpack. I do have one in my inventory, just the skin I'm using for some odd reason doesn't show that I'm equipped with the backpack. I think it's like a bug in the game itself, actually. And uh, I think maybe perhaps relogging will fix a sort that, but I just can't be bothered to do that right now. I'm not bothered. Other than that, that zombie, I don't know. And because we don't really know this map, uh, Scrooge, right in back. Uh, because we don't really know this map very well, we don't know good places to to have a base and stuff. We, we've gotten here, kind of. Now there's a town down there, and there's a factory. Well, actually, you could go check out this airport on our way back. And then, uh, yeah, you can still check it out. Could go here. This is a bandit trader next to another airway. There's a factory down there. Sam's boats. Um, I don't know. The o the only other place I think we should perhaps go to is this. Where is it? I decided a while ago. A W O L airfields. Ah, so it is here as well. There's another small island there. So there's a lot we can go to, but... Oh well. See you guys when we find our next spot. Alright, just to make clear with you guys, the place we're gonna go to now is this AWOLS uh, A -W -O -L -S airfield. And uh, we're just gonna check that out, see if we can get a massive loot cache in there like we usually do. And other than that, I don't know. We'll see. See you guys then though. I'll skip the trip. Alright, we're there. Now it's all a question of keeping an eye out for good stuff. Um, 
mostly barracks. Which is what I kind of want right now. But also we want to see if we can find other vehicles around here. Helicopters. I don't know. There's barracks down here. So if you can land in this area. We could go check them out. Uh, okay. Put this there. Yeah, we're good. See something for we got. A pool of food and water. It's already a zombie here. Two of them actually. Got a natchez. Alright, so we usually we get lucky with these barracks and we find some good loot. However, I don't know if these barracks are the same or if they're even enterable. Which, sadly enough, they don't seem to be. Oh no, this one is. And as luck will have it, we already found a gun. So, uh. There's a zombie coming for you now. Okay. See if you can get me. I got him. Alright, cheers. There's another crawler coming for you. Fuck sex, man, they'll love me. Right, let's I got him. This look. It's another M9 mag. And a slug. Alright. Fuck it, oh yeah, I thought it made me bleed. There's an SA mag. <coughs> well, not a mag, there's a gun here, which I'll take. Oh, there's a snow. Oh, what's this? VSS? Yes! These sell for like fucking two stacks of 10 ounce gold. Oh, nice. So we are getting lucky with this run. That's the gun I was using on the last last uh, last games. Oh yeah. Mm. Before we actually give it all up. So let's just look around. Nothing on these bunkers. Okay. Let's see what else do we have around here? We got a military flashlight, which I'm not gonna take. And the reason I'm not going to take it is because it's a it has a red beam and that is not very helpful. I for some other reason I don't really like it. I already checked <coughs> this one. I found an F uh, M9 SD mag as well. Oh yeah, we got one of them in the chopper. Although we don't really use it. We we'll only found that one mag and that's it. Uh, yes. Just going to check these two. Airways, and then I don't know. Uh, I'll skip until we find a place that we can call home, or if we don't seem to be able to find one, uh, I think we're just gonna build our own somewhere. There's an oil barrel over there, or fuel barrel. Ah, let's hope it's fuel. I'll go check it while you go check that side. Hopefully, it's full as well, although it don't seem like it Watch is. Out. No, it's empty. Shit, there's a few, fair few in here. Alright, you got that one, I'll get these ones that are coming. Uh, if I can. No, apparently this is not gonna cooperate with me. Oh, that's it. Hit him once. He's dead. Alright, so uh, this is what's happening. We are building the base already. And uh, we have kind of almost all the material this is what we've done so far uh, we've made ourselves a little shed here which I guess I could show you guys how to make one because this one is a bit harder to do uh, this is actually a shed not a wood shack wood shack is the crappier version of it which we also have around here but ain't gonna use it for that uh, this is the blood pole the workbench and this is gonna be where our base is gonna be at now we're still here I'm on the map check that one uh, I'm gonna just check if it's aligned I would say that's perfect. Oh, hold on, hold on. Two seconds. Oh. No, actually, yeah, it is perfect. So, um, yeah, it's nighttime, which I don't think I've ever done a video in the nighttime. Uh, we usually just don't really do it, but it is about uh, 9 p.m. in the server. It's about 10 in our time. Server is an hour behind us for some odd reason, but I'm, I guess I'll fix that when I can next time. Um, and yeah, just to show the the progress that we're, we've been making. 
and no, you're gonna have to. That's that's about no, to the right a bit. Uh, one tiny little bit to the right. That's it. Perfect. So uh, gaming Reaper is getting really good at, at starting to to build this stuff. As you can see, the symmetry is really, really good. Uh, you can never get this to be, you know, exactly perfect because that's a bit hard because the game just wasn't made for for like that, like not like Rust, where um, it kind of points you, autom you, yeah, automatically where you gotta go to, so you can't really get it wrong. But the only thing with that is limitation. It's very limited on what you can do. Well, this Do one. All the buildings look the same on Rust, are they? Yeah, because it, it's very limited. It, it's very blocky. You have to make this like this and that like that. So it's very limited at the minute. So that's why it doesn't work very well. Uh, this one is a bit more liberating. So you can do whatever you want. Uh, you can get it all crooked. But it, you know, you can do it. Which is, I guess, great. So uh, we have uh, the division of labors. Aid is getting resources. Is getting woods and, and making the wood into plywood and then to uh, the other one, which I keep forgetting the name of, uh, and lumber. Lumber. And, and I'm transforming the plywood and the lumber into walls and floor, and Gaming Reaper is putting them on. So that's how we basically build our bases. I still don't know how this one's gonna go to very well, but it's gonna go alright. Uh, helicopter's still there, and we're close to loot. We're also close to trees. There is still some zombies that come <coughs> in here. And there are some zombies around. As you can see one right there. Which is annoying. However, I think once we start putting fences around and building a bit more, they will go away. But as you can see, the l guns are already respawning in here. And we have an M4 uh, already in here. We do have a shed full of stuff. But the, th the problem that I have with, with sheds and putting loot in them is... Anybody can just go in there and take it. Uh, even if you lock the shed, that means people can't you go in. Gotta go in there. Yeah, th that means people can't go in there, but they can still access the shed's gear. We haven't built a box yet, but I, I am actually going to build a couple uh, loot boxes. But this uh, M four A one is actually quite good. It has a scope in it. It's not silenced though. Um, I am going to build a few boxes so when we have our house, we can place it down. We don't have a we basically don't have any money yet, but we do have a lot of guns that we could sell to make money. But, um, anyways, we don't have a safe yet, which would be the best option. I need one more wooden floor, by the way. Uh, I'll get to build that now, actually. Okay. Actually, now I'm gone. We need one. How many more? I'm gone. I've had to take these two off because they're at different angles for some reason. Yeah, uh, so we need one, two, three, four. Uh, we need six altogether. Six wooden floors? Yeah. Alright. Well, I'll get so to build that then. for the roof. <laughs> you know, I was thinking like, yeah, oh, right, look at the base. There's no more zombies coming in then. The one's showing up. Alright, so this is our base now. Uh, we're more or less finished with this one at least. Uh, probably yeah, something I, do I could do something here. Actually, <coughs> I'll take that fire and put it right in the front. And that's it. And then basically we're done with it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like. We need uh, what we need. We need boxes. Uh, I can't climb that now. I don't know why. Don't matter. It's our helicopter, which should go to the helipads. This is our base. So there's two windows here, and two garages, which could easily fit anywhere between two to six cars, maybe five, six cars. As you can see, that's another door open. It's another garage door over there. This is the main door, and we're not 100% finished with it. We have a lot of space here to put a lot of stuff, which I don't know what exactly. It's our helicopter, which is in the helipad, which is unofficial, but it's a helipad now. Now, there was a lot of zombies coming in here, which made the 
building process is really, really hard. So what we've done, or what I've done is, while gaming with Blue was um, finishing that the house, was I put a fence all over this place. So, as you can see, zombies don't clip through the fence, and there's a garage door in case we want to get out through here. Although, there might be a flaw with this. Yeah, there is a door here, which zombies can get through. I'll have to cover this in the near future. Just block that door <coughs> off and block whatever other places off. But so far, we haven't seen zombies for quite a while. So this fence kind of worked out. As you can see, there's another one here. So there's a, there's around three fences that I've done around this perimeter. Now, I hope they don't clip through this fence that's already in here. Uh, I guess we're going to put it to the test now. There's a zombie there. And no, I don't think he can clip through. If he could, he would have already. No, they don't clip through it. So we're basically fortified here through a fence. And we could move cars in and out. Because obviously you got doors to pass through the fences. Uh, we got a base. We got a helicopter pad. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. So far, so good. It only took us God knows how long to do all this. It's been a lot of work put onto it. But it's one of our best bases so far. Let me go upstairs to the roof. Check it out. Yeah, looks good. Um, so yeah, this is it. Obviously, I' gonna be perfect, but I will. It's pretty good, actually. Good enough. It's unique and it's ours and. It's one of the best we've built, actually. And it only has one floor. We haven't even done the second floor yet. We will need one now. How much space we got in there? Yeah, no. We have plenty. Because usually, I don't know. We will we'll eventually, maybe someday, build a really big tower so we can snap up zombies and stuff. But we'll leave it out for when we get bored of doing everything else in the game. Right, so I gotta build <coughs> a few wood boxes so we can start put items in them and we can put yeah. one for weapons one for ammo one for whatever so I'll go ahead and do that and uh, I don't know who knows what else we're gonna do subscribe motherfucker